What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. I recently shared with you my five favorite superheroes of all time. So today I decided I'm going to share with you my top five favorite villains of all time. Most of these are going to be uh, movie influenced, but a lot of them it's not just the movies, it's the franchises, it's the comic books, it's the shows, everything about these villains is what I love. So let's just get right into this. First off is Low Key. So I was never really a fan of Thor. I never liked the Thor comic books, but when the movies came about, I wasn't really sold on Low Key until the first Avengers movie. Then I started to like the character a lot more, mainly because the actor that plays Low Key, in my opinion, is awesome. I like that he brings a slight sense of humor to the character to the screen i think that is awesome but also the low-key character himself which part of me at times feels like he wants to do the right thing he wants to help his brother thor he wants to do right but whenever times get tough whenever it looks like the good guys are going to get beaten Loki either helps the bad guy or becomes the bad guy because he thinks that's going to further himself and he's going to be better off doing that. So at times you can tell within the Marvel movies, whether it is uh, Avengers or in uh, Thor movies or anything like that, where he looks like he's going to be a good guy, then all of a sudden he switches to the bad guy, which I think that's awesome that he switches back and forth like that. It is odd and I kind of hate it. But him doing it, it makes sense because that's what his character is about. I love that in the Avengers Infinity War movie, it looks like when Loki or when Thanos was destroying Thor and it looked like they were going to lose, it looked like Loki once again was going to join the bad guy. He was going to join and help Thanos. But he, when I went to kill Thanos, I thought, oh my god, it's a game changer. He's actually doing something right for once. And then he ended up dying. But regardless, that's why he's number five on my list because I love the actor. I love what Loki represents, what Loki character does. And that's why I had to add him to my list. Next is Doctor Doom, which I honestly, the last reboot, I think it was around 2012, 2013 of Fantastic Four. I didn't like the movie at all. I was a fan of Fantastic Four in the comic books, which I still have quite a few in my collection. But my favorite... Fast and, uh, Fast and Furious, my favorite Fantastic Four movies were the mid-2000s, early 2000s, mid-2000s um, that had one and two, and the second one was uh, Rise of the Silver Surfer. Those were my favorite ones because I felt the uh, actors that played the characters were awesome. I felt the movie represented the franchise. I felt like it was doing it right. They were doing something right with it. But the last reboot sucked. But the fact that Marvel now is in control of X-Men and Fantastic Four, it is very uh, a good possibility that we will see once again another reboot done right, done by Marvel. And Doctor Doom has always been my favorite character in the, uh, well, I'm also a fan of the thing, but this is a villain's oriented uh, vi uh, video. So... To me, Doctor Doom is such a strong and powerful villain that if done right, I could see him being a huge villain for the Avengers in the future because, in my opinion, the next Avengers movie after Endgame is going to be them teaming up to defeat Galactus. I really want to see that and see if Galactus is going to be on the big screen. I don't know, that's just me, but I think that'd be awesome. I, I could have put Galactus on this list, but I didn't. But in the future, I could see Magneto because X-Men is now, uh, Marvel now owns X-Men. And I could see Fantastic Four's Doom be a huge villain for the Avengers in the future. So I think that would be awesome to see and I think it could happen. But Doom, I've always been a fan of. I love what he represents as well. Um, the destruction and chaos that he can cause. Next is Thanos, which honestly I could have put higher on this list. But I'm just going to leave him at number three. And to me, he is so powerful, especially with the Infinity Stones. He is incredible. He is 
I, I definitely would say he could be number one, but the top three are definitely really close. That I couldn't narrow it down like that. But he is so strong, so big, so humorous, so slyful. Everything about him is awesome. The fact that he wiped out and he actually did what he set out to do, wiped out half of the planet. He did, he did say in the beginning of the movie that's what his goal was. And like usual in superhero movies, it's like the bad guy never wins. At the end of Infinity War, it appeared like the bad guy won. And the fact that a villain could do what he set out to do and what he said he was going to do, I honestly fell in love with that. Again, the character that plays Thanos, I'm a huge fan of him. I think he does a great work. So that's why Thanos is on this list. A lot of people hate Thanos. I'm a fan of him. I think he's very interesting. I think he does what he says he's going to do, which is something that villains usually don't get a chance to do because usually along the way, Villains get stopped by the superheroes. They get stopped by the good guys. So the fact that he was be, he was able to pull off what he set out to do is awesome. Next on my list, number two is Venom, which again, the top three guys on this list are so close that it was really hard to put him at number two. But number one is, uh, the reason why he's number two is because the Venom movie that came out, I watched it not too long ago. I thought the movie was fantastic. I thought what it represented was fantastic. I thought the fact that Venom appeared to be a bad guy and then all of a sudden he was helping uh, helping him kill another, um, I always forget the name of it, uh, another Venom guy helped him kill that one. So, And he's still alive in his body. So I could see in a second Venom movie in the future, but... In the original, I think it was Spider-Man 3 actually, when he was in that one, I thought it was awesome. In the comic books, I'm a huge fan of Venom in the comic books as well. And I'm really, I'm actually looking for Venom number one. That is one comic book I'm looking for, and I can never find it at a reasonable price. A lot of people have high prices for it. Some people find low prices for it. I'm looking at a reasonable price, but haven't been able to find it, but... Always been a fan of Venom, just the fact that he is so, I don't know the right words, and I'm not really saying much about Venom, but I'm a huge fan of Venom. And the last one is, in my opinion, everybody's favorite villain, and that is Joker. Joker, I know it's the only one on this list that is DC, but the Joker, regardless of the movies, the TV shows, the comic books, when it comes to the movies, it doesn't matter over the years, Anybody that has portrayed the character who has taken on the role of Joker, in my opinion, has done such a great job. Heath Ledger has to be the by far the best Joker I've ever seen, but everybody who's played a Joker throughout history has done an amazing job. The one in the 60s, I was iffy on. I thought that was too eh. Um, the current one that is coming out soon, I like the look of him. I like what he represents. He's still the Joker. He's still doing everything the Joker usually does, so very sneaky, very incredible. I think it's really cool, personally. Um, but yeah, I, I love him in those. I love him in the cartoons. I love him in the movies. I love him in the comic books. He's always been a favorite, especially Harley Quinn, who I really wanted to put on this list, but in my opinion, the ones I put on this list, I like them a little bit more. But everything the Joker represents, and the fact that it seems to me that sometimes he keeps Batman around because he's number one, he, he's Batman's number one villain. That whenever another villain comes around, he kind of tries to help Batman at times, I feel, to try to get rid of that one so he can be the top villain in Gotham. I don't know, maybe that's just me that thinks that, but definitely Joker is my favorite villain of all time. But Comment down below which villain on this list you like, or is there somebody else that uh, is your favorite villain of all time that I didn't mention that's not on my list? Comment down below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. The reason I wanted to do this one and the superheroes one is because I was asked recently by a few people uh, over the past couple months actually what my favorite superheroes are, so I decided to do these two videos to kind of share and address that. So. Hope you guys did enjoy, hope you guys do understand, hope you guys do like this video. Comment down below anything else you guys want to see me do in the future, and I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.